Today we're talking about five pros and cons of living here in Duluth, Minnesota. So stay tuned, you don't want to miss anything. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cody Oakland, a real estate agent here in Duluth, Minnesota. If you're new here and interested in all things Duluth, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I'm getting a ton of questions every day about Duluth. So if you're thinking of moving here, or even if you already live here, call, text, email me anytime with your questions. I love hearing from everybody. Now let's talk a little bit more about the five pros and cons of living here in Duluth, Minnesota. First on the list today that we're gonna talk about is the fact that we get four distinct seasons here in Duluth. And that's gonna mean a few different things. Is one, you're gonna get different views because as the weather changes, you know, there's gonna be no leaves on the trees in winter. There's also gonna be snow and ice around. Uh, but in summer, everything will be filled in. And, you know, obviously in fall, as the temperature starts changing, it'll change the color on the leaves. And that's what you see a lot of videos and pictures of. And it looks amazing around here but you're gonna deal with different weather, so you're gonna be needing different clothes throughout the year to deal with the varying seasons. Uh, maybe you even want a different vehicle, just depends on what works for you. But you're, there's also gonna be different things you can do throughout the year. There's different events we put on depending on the season. Uh, you know, when it's decent weather out, there's more outside events, but even in winter, you'll, you'll find there's uh, some events, whether it's ice fishing or some people even put together uh, golf tournaments if the lake's frozen and the weather's cooperating <laughs> but uh, it just depends on what works for you but you uh, will experience different seasons throughout the year here next on the list that we're going to talk about are the hospitals we have here in our area and we've got two main hospitals here st luke's and essentia essentia is actually spending almost a billion dollars on a brand new medical facility in our downtown area it's going to be huge it's not done yet they're working on it but having two hospitals is a big deal because there's a lot of medical services they provide, which means you don't have to go elsewhere uh, for everything you need. So when you live in a small area so where there's just a clinic or small hospital, the services are very limited. Where here in our area, we've got a lot that's provided because we have uh, St. Luke's and Essentia. Obviously you always wanna double check and make sure what services are there and what you might need and everything but it's been really great having uh, two hospitals here next on the list i want to talk about is duluth compared to a major city and you might be used to having more options uh, that a major city provides than duluth might have so that could take a little bit uh, getting used to duluth does have a ton of retail we just had a costco open up we've got target walmart a mall home depot menards uh, all that stuff and tons of small retail shops and restaurants and things, but we definitely don't have the options of a major city. And that's just part of living in a smaller uh, area like Duluth. And same goes for activities. You know, there's probably something uh, different most days of the week in the major cities. And Duluth does have a fair amount going on and some of it is weather dependent. <laughs> but we do a fair amount outside when the weather cooperates. Um, but for indoor activities, you know, there's definitely not going to be as much as a major city has going on. Although we do have for some major events, uh, the, the deck, the convention center here where they do, uh, bring in musical performers and everything and a number of expos and different events like that. So there's stuff going on, but it, there's definitely not as much as a major city will have. Now I wanna talk about the access to public land we have here, and not just uh, what's readily available in Duluth, which we do have a fair amount. We've got over a hundred parks right in the city of Duluth. We've got the Lake Walk, uh, which a ton of people visit the Canal Park and Bayfront area to start on the Lake Walk over there and hike, bike. Uh, you can rent Segways and everything over there, and it's about eight miles long, runs along uh, part of Lake Superior, and part of the Lake Walk uh, will be off of the lake but it's a really cool area we've got park point where it's a kind of a part of the area on park point is going to be a sand beach so a lot of people like to go over there and have a beach experience on lake superior so that's that's amazing it's all free to access uh, and utilize but we also have a ton just outside of our our area whether it's a state land that you can go on and hike around atv uh hunt whatever you like to do there's a fair amount of 
access to different water, not just Lake Superior, but different lakes and rivers we have here where you can put your boat on, go fishing, swimming, uh, just uh, campsites. There's thousands of campsites and there's a ton available within 30 minutes of Duluth as well. So you don't have to go far to try new areas. Um, there's designated spots. So if you do like the ATV or snowmobile in winter, you know, whatever it may be, there's lots to do throughout the year. We've even got Spirit Mountain. So if you like to, to uh, snowboard, ski, tube, uh, fat tire bike, you know, whatever it is, um, you know, we've, we've really got a fair amount to utilize right in the city, but a ton that's close by as well. All right, the moment everyone's been waiting for, we definitely need to talk about winter. And I wanted to go over this separately. I do get a lot of questions on this. Uh, technically, winter does start uh, towards the end of December, but you're really gonna start seeing snow stick around more and colder temperatures more consistently around mid-November is kind of when I would plan on it. It doesn't mean you, it won't snow before then. It certainly can and does. Usually it's not much and it'll melt pretty quick if it does before then, but that's mid-November is kind of what I would plan on. And then uh, January is supposed to be the colder uh, month uh, for average temperature, but you will see some of those really cold temps you hear about usually for a couple weeks in February. Um, so just be prepared for that. The snow will go away, you know, it changes a little bit every year, but usually by the end of March, beginning of April, it, you know, winter's coming to an end, uh, but it doesn't mean it won't snow after then. It, it, can and does, um, but every year is different, whether it's uh, you know a colder year or maybe a year you get more snow or less snow, you just kind of got to tackle it uh, year by year. But uh, you know, living here with winter, obviously you're gonna be de dealing with some cold, but uh, you might not be used to snow removal either. You know, there's people you can pay to, you know, help you with snow removal, whether you just have a, you know, a little area where you have to shovel just part of your driveway or sidewalk, or maybe you have a huge uh, area you purchase that has a long driveway that you have to plow. So it's just gonna depend on the property you purchase, um, but snow removal is gonna be part of living here. Next on the list, I wanna talk a little bit about uh, Lake Superior, and it's really unique living next to the lake for a number of reasons. One, it does provide uh, amazing views, even if you're just driving around or walking around but there are a, a lot of homes available with some kind of lake view, even if it's just a, a sliver of a view out your window where you can see a small part of the lake. So it just depends on what you're looking for, but you gotta tackle that property by property. And we've actually got a lot of public access to the lake, even just walking on the lake walk here or down in Park Point on the, uh, the different uh, sand beaches over there. But there's lots of public spots where they let you walk right down to the rocky shoreline and get down to the lake. Uh, people will swim, surf, boat, fish, all that stuff on Lake Superior. So it's, it's very cool to have that kind of access to Lake Superior. And you'll also hear about the lake effect uh, Lake Superior has on the weather. It's also the reason we don't really get uh, tornadoes here. It makes the news when we get even a funnel. Uh, because the lake effect makes the weather a little unpredictable as well at times. So you don't always know what the weather's gonna be like if they're predicting a storm um, until like the day before day of. Sometimes like uh, when they're predicting rain or anything like that. Sometimes even the snow will vary depending on the area of Duluth and how close you are to the lake. So just keep that in mind. Um, but that's what they're talking about when they, they mention the lake effect on the weather here. Next, we need to talk about road construction here, especially if you're coming from an area that doesn't really have winter and they can do construction year round. Here, because we have winter uh, and it's tougher on the roads, uh, we, we do have a fair bit of uh, road construction. So you'll find as soon as winter ends, uh, the road construction will begin all the way until it begins. Um, they're even redoing part of the freeway right now uh, to make it safer and easier to maneuver around. But, uh, for standard road construction, you'll definitely be taking detours. It just kind of depends on the projects they have planned for that year. Um, you'll, you know, we get potholes, cracks in the road, all that stuff. Um, sometimes they'll just patch it up. Sometimes they might have to redo the whole road. Uh, but that is part of living in an area where there's winter. So just be prepared for that when you come here. Next on the list, I want to talk about the colleges we have here. 
especially for an area this size, we have three colleges and one being Lake Superior College, the other two being St. Scholastica and University of Minnesota Duluth. And you'll see a ton of students uh, around here because of that. But uh, it is really nice to have three options available so you don't always have to leave the area for education or if your kids are ready for college, they don't have to leave the area uh, depending on what degree they want and where they want to go, obviously. But uh, those places also uh, interact a lot with local businesses, uh, especially for like aviation, uh, medical degrees for nursing and things like that, uh, construction, machine work. So it just kind of depends on what you're looking for, but we do have a lot of options available to us right here in Duluth. Next, we do need to talk about the bugs we have here. I do get questions on this. Every area deals with their own bug situation, but uh, here, even in the city, you'll deal with some mosquitoes and everything, um, but you'll deal with more as you get out into the country and by water. Uh, obviously, they've got bug spray for everything, so I always, have bug spray with, <laughs> especially if I'm going for a hike or, you know, kayaking on the river or something, you know, there's always going to be mosquitoes, ticks, uh, horse flies, uh, as you get out into like the tall grass or the swampier areas and things like that. Um, there's going to be less in the city, but, um, just because you're in the city doesn't mean you won't deal with them. So just keep that in mind. It's part of living in Minnesota. Um, so if you have bug spray, you should be fine, but keep that in mind. You will, you will be dealing with some bugs. And last on the list, I want to talk about the tourism we have here in Duluth. We actually get a lot of visitors. It just depends on the time of year and the events that are going on and everything. There's some bigger events compared to others here. Uh, even in winter though, depending um, if there's like the snow cross going on or, or like a big ice fishing tournament, we do get people uh, coming here in winter months, but it's definitely busier in summer and fall. When the weather's nice, uh, a lot of people will come check out Lake Superior, the Lake Walk, Park Point, uh, check out the Bayfront and Canal Park area. Bayfront's also where they do some outside concerts and everything like that. And then the, the deck convention centers down there. So if there's uh, gatherings of some sort, a lot of times it's down in those areas. Um, but even in fall, as the leaves start changing color, even with sometimes cooler temps and things like that, a lot of people will come here just to check out the sites. So just keep keep that in mind, depending on the time of year, um, there's gonna be more people around certain areas in uh, Duluth. Well, there you go. There's some information about Duluth, Minnesota. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, share it with a friend, and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos about Duluth, Minnesota every week. And if you're looking to buy or sell a home here in Duluth, Minnesota, reach out at the phone number or email on the screen below. I'd love to help you.